Today, the Utah Department of Public Safety released its crime report for 2020, and there are some pieces of data that stand out. Just over 79,000 index crimes were committed in 2020, according to the report. That's almost a 6% increase from 2019. A sharp increase in homicides at 44%. Motor vehicle thefts also a sharp increase, nearly 35%. And arson increased by nearly 40%. That's a spike coming in May and June during some times of civil unrest. A lot of data to comb through. We want to go in depth on this. So joining us live to talk more about the 2020 Department of Public Safety Crime Report is Mandy Biesinger, the Field Services Supervisor for Utah's Bureau of Criminal Identification. Mandy, thanks so much for joining us this afternoon. What are your big takeaways from this data? You're welcome. Um, thanks for having me. So one thing to keep in mind with um, 2020 is it's, it's a little bit of an odd year. Um, the biggest takeaway, I guess, is something that it, to, to be grateful for is Utah's trends do match what happened nationwide in just an unprecedented year um, with violent crime, as well as some of those that you mentioned, um, motor vehicle theft, things that, that are took a little bit of an unexpected um, jump, I guess you could say, this last year. Well, rapes were the only violent crime against persons that decreased in this report from year to year, a decrease of really uh, nearly 10%. What do you make of that? I think it's wonderful. Um, I know that the state has um, been focused on ways to be able to get these rates down, and rape has definitely been uh, a conversation every year on, on how are we doing with rapes? Is that trending up? Is it trending down? So, so to see when all of the other violent crimes are going up, to see a decrease, and 10% might not feel significant, but that's a, that's a pretty big deal to be going down. Um, so I think it's a great sign uh, for the state that that's something that's improving. DPS Commissioner Jess Anderson said in this report that one year does not make a trend. We're about 10 months into 2021, though. Are there certain crimes that you're expecting to maybe increase this year? Um, it's a little early to say completely, um, but one thing that's been consistent over the last uh, three to four years was that uh, larceny and thefts had been declining and violent crime had been going up. I'm expecting to kind of see that again in 2021 to see those thefts start going back down as we saw prior to 2020. Um, it'll be interesting to see what the violent crime comes out. Um, one thing with this year is there was a big change in the Uniform Crime Reporting Program prior to January 1st, 2021. Agencies could report in two different types, um, an old version called summary and then our national incident-based reporting. Um, this is the first year that we're going to have every agency in Utah on board with NIBRS as well as nationwide. So trends are going to be a little interesting to kind of watch um, as we don't have that traditional index crimes, but we're going to have more data um, available because of the data sets that NIBRS can collect. DPS releasing its 2020 uh, crime report today. Mandy Biesinger from Utah's Bureau of Criminal Identification joining us this afternoon. Let's talk about property crimes. It was also broken down in the report. Motor vehicle thefts dramatically on the rise from year to year, but this comes after years of decreases. What do you think and why do you think they shot back up? Yeah, that was a surprising trend to see when compiling this report. Um, and I would definitely recommend consulting law enforcement for their input on that. Um, but I imagine that the pandemic definitely played into that. We know that there were shortages um, with getting parts for vehicles, um, especially newer vehicles. A lot of the motor vehicle theft um, could be already owned theft, um, used cars that suddenly had different value than they ever did before. An increase in those index crimes, but a dramatic decrease in arrests. I think it was around 20% in that report. What does that show us? So that also, I think, can be attributed a bit to the pandemic um, during the, especially the, the start in the lockdown era. Um, law enforcement was as much at risk of catching coronavirus as the general public. Um, so if you recall, the jails weren't booking people as often because there were concerns with COVID in the jails. Um, so arrests in general could have been affected by that, um, not because law enforcement wasn't doing their jobs, but just because the pandemic affected whether or not they were going to be arresting and booking the same um, as they would have been prior. What do you want the public to take away from this overall report? There were a number of increases in there, and, and some might see those numbers and be a little bit concerned, but how should they view this? 
One thing I would just like to emphasize is that um, as a Utahn, you know, I care about this data because I live here too. This is my community, my home state. Um, it is nice to know that while we have some of these increases, we are on trend with the nation. So Utah is not any, like any less safe um, as a state. So that so that's just one thing I would definitely say is like we're still a safe state, and I think that the data is good. Law enforcement, um, Department of Public Safety, the legislation like we're going to use this report now and hopefully work towards making Utah even safer, so that our our state trends are lower than the national average. What are some of the, I guess, comparisons between Utah and other states across the nation? Obviously, the homicide number stands out, but that's about half, right? When you break it down, half the national average. average. Yeah, when you compare the rate of our population and those types of crimes, um, you can calculate like per 1,000. Um, Utah looks re is a really safe state um, comparatively. A lot of the states surrounding us um, saw similar increases. Again, with the violent crime, homicides was up um, a ton. Arson, a lot of states experienced similar things that Utah experienced during the times of civil unrest that led to these spikes. Um, so it's one of those, like, we were all going through it. Well, looking at the 2020 crime data for the state of Utah, Mandy Biesinger, the field services supervisor for Utah's Bureau of Criminal Identification. Thanks so much for your time today. You're welcome.